Hello, my name is Simon, and this is the Big Orbit Games unboxing video for Star Wars Armada CR90 Corellian Corvette Expansion Pack, uh, Rebel Ship from the Star Wars Armada Wave 1. So it's nice packaging here, shows you which fancy flight sleeves you need for the cards, nice Disney logo there. Um, so this is in clamshell, which I have cut earlier to make it a bit easier to get into. Um, and we'll just dive right in. So. We have here the component list, shows you everything that you get in here, so along with the model you get quite a lot of components, and especially those upgrade cards, which we'll go through shortly. Um, so let's go in back in here. Um, right, so we have here at the back first, we have the tokens and the cards. Do -do -do. As always with Fantasy Flight games, there's always a lot of tokens. <laughs> so, here we go. so, on this sheet you're getting the defense tokens you need, um, two evades and a redirect, identifying tokens, objective tokens and uh, Imperial Rebel symbol tokens. And then on this sheet you get the double-sided chip token for both versions of the Corvette, the shield dials and the single command dial, and all the command tokens, one of each. So There's no wasted space on these. Um, you get quite a few objective tokens though, which um, if you already own the Corsair, I'm not entirely sure you'd need that many, but will be seen at some point, I'm sure. So here are the two ship cards, the Corellian Corvette A and B. Uh, we saw these in the core set, so there's nothing new or different here. Printing on them looks exactly the same, nothing different about that. Um, again, the differences between the two. Um, you, uh, the Corvette B has an iron cannon upgrade, whereas the Corvette A has the turbo lasers. Uh, and for the points difference, really what you're paying for um, are the dice, because the Corvette A has the red dice on its armament, whereas the Corvette B is pure blue. The major thing in this expansion is the upgrade cards. So we start here with the new Admiral, Mon Mothma. Um, she's here to replace Admiral Dodonna. Um, uh, she's 30 points and her ability is when a friendly ship resolves the evade token effect it can cancel one dice at medium range or re-roll one dice at close range or distance one. So it basically improves the evade tokens which the rebel ships all have um, evade tokens and it just makes them that bit better, makes your ships arguably a bit more survivable, uh, increasing their survival chances. So she's a nice card, um, Dodana is definitely more of the offensive, Mamothma is much more defensive card if you want to keep your fleet alive a bit longer. The military officer, Remus Antilles. When you reveal a command, you may gain one matching command token, token without spending the dial. So this gives you access to tokens uh, steadily and easily. Um, at seven points, that's not bad either to gain that many tokens. Doubling up on squadron and repair commands is always useful. So I can see Ramus being used a lot. We have the nav team. So. Uh, when you do navigate commands, your navigate tokens can increase your speed or your by one. So it just makes those command tokens that little bit better. Uh, combining with Ramus, again, you can immediately see where the benefit of that is. Electronic hat measures. While defending, you may exhaust the card to spend a defense token that your opponent targeted with an accuracy result. Um, so yeah, again, just helps you a little bit become a little bit more survivable. Um, uh, yeah, nice and simple card at seven points. Um, it's a one shot each turn because it does get exhausted. So, but that one salvo could be the one that makes a difference. So, it's useful. There's a new card, leading shot. Um, this is one of the iron cannons, uh, iron cannon upgrades, and while attacking, you may. You may spend one blue dice to re-roll any number of dice in your attack pool. So at four points, this lets you get a nice few re-rolls in there. Uh, useful utility when attacking. 
um, but it does cost you that one blue dice. So Then we have the H-Shine Turbo Lasers, we saw these in the core set. Uh, turbo laser upgrade and while attacking you may change one die face with a crit or hit icon to an accuracy icon so actually it's useful stops your opponent using their defense tokens it could allow you to get through combined with something on like um, Dodonna it could help get that critical effect through so it's a useful card the turbo lasers then on to the titles we have the classic Tantive 4 at just three points uh, it allows you to, before you gain a command token, one for any ship at distance 1 to 5 may gain that token instead. So if it acts as like a token passer, a nice support ship. Um, generally I've seen the CR90s be used to run up the board and flank around the opponent so they um, wouldn't usually be at that distance from another ship but you know this gives you another uh, opportunity to use it in a new role. And again this combines so well with Ramus. And Jana's Light, you can ignore the effects of overlapping obstacles, your attacks cannot be obstructed either. At two points, this title's fantastic, I think, um, because I have accidentally beached my ship on asteroids and debris fields before, and that's just never fun. <laughs> so, two points, that is a worthwhile upgrade. The other thing we have here, and here is the model itself for the ship. So it comes in nice packaging, nice easy way to keep and store this, I think, if you haven't bought like a special KI case for it. Uh, I'll just pop the model out there. Watch it drop to the table. So, go the right way around. So the model looks the same as it did um, from the core set. Paint job looks the same, uh, still the same quality. I have seen a few unfortunate mispaints or misproductions, but this one looks absolutely fine. Um, we've still got the nice orange engine heads, ends there. Um, so yeah, the model's pretty much the same as it was from the core set, no real changes there. And of course you get the stand, command dial, and shield stuff that you need to fire the ship with. So yeah. That is the Corellian Corvette um, expansion pack for the Rebels. These upgrade cards are fantastic. This is what you really want the expansion for, is these upgrade cards, especially like Shana's Light, uh, the leading shots, um, or Ramus. Or if you're Philippa playing the Donner in every game and you want to change, you can use one Mothma as well. So yeah, I think it's, it's definitely a worthwhile expansion. It's adding quite a bit to the Rebels with these upgrade cards. Um, and CR90s are so cheap, really, uh, most lists you'll probably end up running two anyway, so getting a second one isn't too bad. There we go. So remember, everything you've seen here today can be ordered or traded on our website, bigorbitcards.co.uk, as single items. My name is Simon, and join me later when I will do some more reviews of Wave 1. Bye.